This is Newsbreak 26 in Southwest New Brunswick. I'm Vicki Hogarth. Here's what's happening in our part of the world. On Sunday, a group of concerned citizens gathered on a hill at the corner of Basin and Kerr's Ridge Road in Bocabec for a Stop Spraying Our Forest rally. Kim Reeder, John Garner and Rod Cumberland, all former candidates in the provincial election for the St. Croix riding, were among the speakers at the event who shared their concerns and knowledge about the spraying of glyphosate in New Brunswick forests, specifically on Crown land. Why are we even debating this in this day and age? We're talking about a bloody poison. Let's if anything I've ever tried to do on the water, it's always been the precautionary approach. There's no precautionary approach here. It's uh, let's carpet bomb the thing and see uh, and see the fallout afterwards. This is the Agent Orange of our lifetime, glyphosate spring. And I, I do know back that the original research, it made it look pretty good. But there's all kinds of modern research that shows, guess what? We made a mistake. This thing is very, very problematic. And it's in all of our food. The battle right now has got to be focused on, on taxpayers' dollars spent spraying a poison on taxpayers' land. The location of the rally was chosen by Reader not because it had been sprayed with glyphosate, but because she believes it represents the natural beauty of New Brunswick that all of us are responsible to protect. Uh, the other thing that's really important in community conversations is you have to be accessible. So this is a pretty central location between in our riding between from the edges of you know out in Mohannes and, and the Scudic River over to Bethel and St. George area. So that's why here. Also one of the important things is that this isn't just about protest, it's about enjoying being outside and so we picked a place close to Patty Falls where everyone could go for a hike before or after and enjoy that too. A bronze sculpture of William Francis Ganong was unveiled in St. Stephen near the St. Croix River on Wednesday. Ganong was a renowned historian and scientist known for mapping New Brunswick's coastline, waterways and mountains. He was also a unifying figure with a keen interest in all aspects of New Brunswick's rich history and cultural landscape. This man, Mr. Ganong, he walked every inch of this province. He met our people. He went to the Tobique, he stood on Mount Carlton, and he wrote an incredible history, and it was respectful. Sculptors Fred Harrison and Darren Byers created the six foot eight bronze masterpiece that has now been designated a provincial heritage site. William Francis Ganong's primary motivation as a collector of objects, memories, and stories was to preserve rapidly disappearing evidence and knowledge of New Brunswick's cultural history. Finally, the last farmer's market of the 2020 summer season takes place in St. Andrews this week. Despite the challenges brought on by COVID-19, the market enjoyed a safe and successful summer season. Um, we're just also very happy to be here and to have this time together. And uh, we have our musicians here and um, it's all nice to be right here by the sea. The St. Andrews Farmer's Market will enjoy a brief renaissance this holiday season, returning as an outdoor Christmas market taking place during the local Christmas by the Sea celebrations. You'll have to stay tuned for more on what's to come this holiday season in Charlotte County. That's all the news I have for you. For more stories and online exclusives, follow us on Facebook at chco.tv. A news and public affairs production of CHCO-TV, New Brunswick's only source for independent community television.